topic of all time amongst anthropologists and common folk alike. Now, the, its most popular theory is that of evolution, which claims that humans were developed over a steady period of time. Yes, Ms. Coltman? Professor, the theory of evolution is downright offensive and nothing more than a deviant myth created by the devil and the liberal media. Look at us. Do you really think that we could have been monkeys just six million years ago? Ah, the religious conflict. Now, you raise a strong point, Jackie, uh, but the Bible states that mankind originated with Adam and Eve, which were the first homo sapiens created by God himself. Now, keep in mind, that was long before the Virgin Mary and her husband, Joseph, birthed the iconic Jesus Christ. Oh, no, that is incorrect. Mother Mary was never married to Joseph. Excuse me? She told me so over coffee last week. The Virgin Mary told you over coffee that she was never married. Yes. She also said that she hates how people misconceive her in the Bible, but that she quite likes the new Josh Groban CD. Come on, Jackie. Everyone knows Mary was married to her husband, Joseph. She did no such thing. Mother Mary was engaged, but she was never married. Never! Oh, yeah, and this is coming from the old drug addict. Oh, excuse me, I'll bet you've never even read the Bible. Oh, yes, I have. I read the New I'll oh, bet you the new and the Old Testament. Well, you know what? I know the people from the Bible personally. Oh, yeah? yeah. Like your imaginary, it's, just coming you know, out of your I imaginary mind? Oh, my God, you're, you're just so crazy. You were just so stupid. We get about monkeys and baby messiahs. We were all created by aliens. Is a freak experiment gone wrong? Just look at us. Yeah, Christian girl's crazy. Oh, really, Tiffany Chambers? You know, you have so little sense of morality and intellect that I wouldn't be surprised if you were a Neanderthal. Hey guys, settle down. Now, this is still anthropology, not a debate class. Now, if you would like to discuss Jackie's questionable opinions, you must do so after class. Maybe I was wrong. Some of us very well could have been monkeys after all. <laughs> this weird fetish for women you can never have, but this has really got to stop. Huh? Professor Lanier, it's not gonna happen. What? No, Elizabeth, it's, it, it's not, uh... Don't even deny it, hombre. We've caught you giving her the eye for a week now. Yeah, and not in Margot's, oh, he's 26 kind of way. Professor Lanier is old enough to be your mother. Get your life together. You guys are so off base. There's, like, something about Professor Lanier that's bothering me. Like in a hot and bother kind of way? No, Elizabeth, like, uh, I th think she's my mom, like my biological mom. And Brad Pitt's my adoptive father. That's why I look nothing like him and no one knows I'm still breathing. No, Murphy, it's like the way she talks and her mannerisms and the way that she said that she's never had a kid that she kept. As in the woman went to the clinic and handled her business, God, Luke. And if your mother was a PhD, how did you end up so stupid? Oh, whatever, guys. You just don't understand. Gee, Luke, you could have just admitted your perverted crush on Professor Lanier. It is 2010. We would have accepted you. Alexa now. 
Oh, I'm here to pass along these flyers for the Bardell Christian community. As a small collective on campus, God has called upon me to build it from the ground up. Thus I am with Christian Cheesecakes. Christian Cheesecakes? Jackie, I heard they let you back in. Come on, Savannah, don't be like that. And why shouldn't I? She brought Kyla Kane into her home, got me kicked out, and left you homeless. I mean, she ruined roommate movie bonding night forever. You're right. I took you two for granted. But I was a different person then. Well, we're not interested. You haven't changed. You're just hiding behind Jesus now instead of drugs. You're wrong. I have changed, Savannah. And at least I'm being honest with myself, which is more than you've ever been. Who was that? We never get any visitors. Unless you're here to egg our house. <sighs> or deliver burning bags of dog poo like that a Kappa Epsilon pledge did last year. Uh, it was just a former friend. Let's get back to planning our FTPP. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I'm new here. Um, what's FTPP? It's our biannual freeze tag pajama party. You're new here, but you're gonna love it. It's pajamas and freeze tag and a party all rolled into one. Oh, I wouldn't call it a party. Girls, can we hold off on this for a second? I have something I really want to tell you guys, my sisters, about who I really am. You're secretly a bedwetter, aren't you? <laughs> no worries. I was one up into 14. <laughs> no, no, I'm definitely not a bedwetter. Are you a werewolf? Oh my god, I knew it. You are Team Jacob, aren't you? No, I mean, I'm not... I'm a lesbian. A lesbian? Ooh, so you're an actor? No, I'm a lesbian. What do you mean by that exactly? Ugh, believe me, the less you know, the better. not very livable conditions we're in. Mr. Holt, they're just sophomores. I'm sure they're only exaggerating. Mackenzie, you're the student body president. Listen to them. They say their RA has removed all of the fire evacuation maps and the- Fire extinguishers, the... first aid kits, and remote signs of happiness. Uh, wow, and you haven't been able to get any other administrators involved? Mr. Holt, you're new to Bardell, so I can see how you wouldn't understand. This is Kyla Kane we're dealing with. Most of the faculty and administration are scared of her. Scared of her? Come on. She's a 20-year-old girl. How scary can she be? You've obviously never met her before. Professor Charles Holt, is it? Yes, it is. And you are in... You're in complete violation of the... Aw. Don't be bashful, Charlie. I don't bite most of the time. Listen, why don't you just run right back along to your nice little office and pretend like you never even saw an inch of the 12th floor, okay? Yes, uh, okay. Uh, thank you for the good day. Kyla, you left us no choice. Lies! I gave you plenty of choices. Obey my rules or die. You chose to die. What does that mean? You'll see soon enough. Renee, you just don't get it. The dude is just expressing sadness in the falafel in just like a really surreal way. Clive, he's not a dude, he is a painter. And the falafel is just that, a falafel. You can't be surreal with a falafel. You just don't have the artistical eye that I have. You mean that the same eye that saw a french fry in a 17th century still life? So, 
you can't drop Margot's class because Professor Lanier is your ma? Yeah, I think so. Probably gotta get a DNA test or something to prove it. Or I could go on an episode of Mari. In Alaska, when a child is motherless, the village will take it to the middle of the wolf's den, and the first hunter to arrive has to claim it as his or her own. Are you serious? How do you think Sarah Palin has kids? <laughs> Anywho, so I guess I'll help you on your quest to find your long lost map? No, I don't think so, Snicky. I'm just gonna try to do this all on my own. Oh, fine, Luke. Be a moose gooser about it and see if I care. Have you felt the warmth of the Lord's divine light this morning? Yes, I did actually, when I was stuck in bumper to bumper traffic with a broken air conditioner. I think I've had enough divine warmth for one day, thank you. Well, Christian Cheesecake doesn't give you that kind of warmth. Christian Cheesecake? Mm -hmm. Jackie, are you sure that the school activities board has approved this little venture of yours? <sighs> Miss Charter. You need to stop making excuses and confront your faith already. Are you a good Christian or not? You know who's a good Christian? My ex-husband. Why don't you go and solicit him with some cheesecake? Hmm? Okay. I'm sorry if I woke. Um. Would you be interested in some delicious cheesecake? Jackie, right? Yeah. Let me ask you something. If your delusional artist of a boyfriend were trying to draw you without clothes on, would you be chill with that? Hmm? Well, I doubt it's anything he hasn't seen before. Well, maybe that was my mistake then. Yes, that was your mistake. My mistake? Yes. Your decision to recklessly give away the sacred fruit of your virginity out of wedlock, well, that's just your burden to bear, you fornicator. Cheesecake? Wait, is that the cheesecake you put Yes. It's the one piece that I've been trying to sell all afternoon. But this campus is full of faithless hooligans. Well, I'm Dorian Lang, and it's about Catholic, if that makes you feel any better. Well, yes, it does, Dorian. I'll tell you what. I'll take that cake off your hands if you come out to lunch with me sometime. Well, that'd be swell. Uh-uh. Oh, no, you don't. Leave me alone. Shoot! Nice try, Elizabeth Martin, but you're all mine now. Go chase someone else. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I said stop following me, Savannah. I take your... Ow! Did you just touch my hair? I know you did not just touch my hair. Chill, Elizabeth. It's just a game. It's not just a game when little Miss Ellen DeGeneres is trying to touch all over my hair. Excuse me? Don't try to deny it now. You are chasing after me like I'm some catch of the day. And I am a catch, but I do not swing that side of the seesaw. Chief Louisiana, Elizabeth. I didn't know you were so homophobic. Oh, don't get all preachy with me about being progressive, okay? I'm a Democrat. I'm all for opposite marriage. But you have to admit, having a sister like Savannah is kind of uncomfortable. I don't see why it should be. She's not the problem, Elizabeth. You are. What do you mean you're not arresting Elizabeth Martin? You just said that the last person who saw Jessie Ann heard her say she was going to confront Elizabeth. And then there's my article. <laughs> oh right, your article. Are you questioning the merits of my reporting, Detective Mollock? Let's just say your article was the furthest thing from objective. First of all, it's Andrea. Second of all, do you even care that my sister's been missing for over a month now? Jesus, between you and my mother. Your mother? Actually, I'd like to speak with her. Believe me, Detective, nothing good can come from speaking with my mother. Hey. You know, I really needed something to help me get off my ass. This whole taking a semester off thing was a really bad idea. I feel like a pothead, but without the happy thoughts. <laughs> no, but thanks for meeting me, Harris. I mean, oh, yeah. it's pretty much been a minute, and who's that? Oh, hi, I'm Chad. Chad North? Mm, sounds like Chuck, 
My best friend last year, his name was Chuck, and he ended up losing a scholarship going to community college, so you'll be new Chuck. Dude, do you hear yourself? <laughs> uh, okay, m my name's Chad, though. All right, new Chuck. Whatever, man. I'm not gonna miss film theories with Kyla Kane for this. Good luck with Mama Jameson over there. Lead the way, Skywalker. Uh, hi. Are you in this class? Of course I'm in this class. Why would you ask me such a preposterous thing? Because I have a photographic memory and I can't recall ever seeing you in this room. Well, maybe this class is getting just a little too big for that old photographic noggin of yours. Or maybe you've got the Alzheimer's. Young man, you do not want to test me. Test me? You're the one who can't even remember my existence in this class. Because you're not in this class. Lies! You speak lies! Young man, I'm going to have to... Ow! Are we done here? Are we done here? You're the one who started talking to me! Shh! I'm not even in this class. I swear, this job is driving me crazy. Guys, Kyla is getting out of control. Yeah, she has to be stopped. Obviously. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, she poisoned the water fountain! I, I don't know what it is, but I drank it and my tummy left oh fire! My god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's petroleum. How do you know that, Kate? None of your business, that's how. No way. Do you guys really think Kyla would try to poison us with petroleum? I don't know. Kyla Kane's one twisted motherfucker, but she doesn't actually want to kill us, right? Hannah, this is why I started the Anti Kane Alliance. She's not going to stop until we are as miserable as she is. We have to fight fire with fire. <laughs> but before we do that, can we have. Oh, can we do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. It's okay. You're going to be all right. Didn't. Those little. You wanted to see me? No, not really. But I did want to know why you took a strand of my hair in the classroom yesterday afternoon. Uh, how'd you know? That's what hot TAs are for, Luke. To be hot and to be the eyes in the back of my head. Now, do you care to explain yourself? Well, this might sound a little crazy or impossible, but Professor Lanier, Sylvia, I think you're my mother. I've sent your hair in for DNA testing. Oh, Luke, you have a condition, don't you? Damn it! I told the board no specials in my class. I do not have a condition, Sylvia! Can I call you mom? No! You cannot call me mom! It's okay. You just need some time. On Saturday, there's the Bardell mother and son barbecue, and it'd be a great time to bond. No, 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 no. We don't need to bond because there's nothing to bond over. I am not your mother. Well, we'll just have to wait and see about that, won't we? Luke, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. This conversation's over. And that's when the Lord shined his good light on my windowsill, and I realized how much more there is to life. Uh-huh, sure. So, anyway, you don't ever miss it? Miss what exactly? <laughs> Misdirection? Confusion? I don't see a thing to miss. Come on. Jackie. The drugs? What were you working with exactly? Drugs? But I thought you said you were Catholic. <laughs> I'm also an honor student who can do like 20 lines per minute. And I don't just mean on paper. So you consume drugs regularly then? Sure, just like you did. I'm still strictly pharmaceutical about it. If you'd like, I could, you know, hook you up with the good stuff. Savannah, what is it? It's Kyla Kane. She's poisoned our water pipes and rigged the elevator shaft. Eric is trapped inside. Who, who's that? It sounds like Kyla Kane needs an exorcism. And I just saw The Exorcist last week and bought the script book off of Amazon.com. 
What's going on? What's going on? I'm sorry, is this a bad time? Oh, no, 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 not at all. In fact, your timing couldn't have been more perfect. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence, Savannah. God, I don't even know why I agreed to meet you here. I have a facial to get to in 45 minutes. And I have an exorcism to get to in 10 minutes, but this is important. God, if you're gonna profess your undying love for me or something, you can save it, okay? I accept you, but I'm not a lesbian. Elizabeth, I don't like you, not even a little bit, okay? Just because I'm attracted to a certain gender does not mean I'm attracted to everyone in that gender, understand? Okay, see all those guys over there? Can you honestly tell me you like every single one of them? I don't know. That guy, can you honestly tell me that you have the inescapable urge to throw him up against the wall and make out with him right now? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Great juice, Miss Holmes. Was there any vodka in this? Mm-hmm. My family and vodka go together like Brady's and bad haircuts. And Jesse Ann was practically an alcoholic before she, we took off her draining wheels. <laughs> That's probably where the problem began. Well, about your daughter, Mrs. Holmes. Um, what is your relationship with her? Pretty distant. Um, that was before she went missing. Ironic, huh? You don't seem concerned about her. Detective, do you want to have the last conversation with my dear daughter went? Well, it was Mother's Day 2008. God, Mom, I know it's been like a hundred years since you've been to college, but can you try and understand? Not in that tone, I won't. And Jess, that's a lot of money just to hand over to some sorority. Uh, to ask for what? That's like a trip to Belize for you, or, or a boat full of that wine you're chugging. I'm not chugging anything. Fine. It's either give me my money, or I'm cutting you off. <laughs> cutting me off? Yeah, that's right. Birthdays, Easter, family vacays. You can kiss my ass goodbye. I'm sorry, hon, the answer is still no. You know what, fine. You and your wine can have a lovely Mother's Day. You alcoholic. I need a refill. So I know you're taking this oh so very seriously, Detective Mullock. But, in all honesty, my daughter's an attention-seeking drama queen. Surely doesn't take an investigator to figure that out. Judas in your midst. Kay? Oh, you stupid, stupid girls. You honestly thought you could defeat me? Yeah, nobody defeats Kyla Kane. But Kay, how could you? You were supposed to be our friend. Jackie, start the chant. Aw, uh, how cute. You have a chant. My favorite is Ring Around the Rosy. And this is the part where you all fall down. I cast you out, unclean spirit. In the name of the righteous, it is he who commands you. It is he who flung you from the gates of heaven to the depths of hell. Be gone from this creature. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> oh, thank you. I am saved. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. Honestly, an exorcism by Cracky Jacket. Oh, girls, if there is a God, a Jesus, a Mrs. freaking Virgin Mary, even they can't save you now. Mother Mary was never a Mrs. What? Mother Mary never married. She was betrothed to St. Joseph when she gave birth to the baby Jesus, 
but as far as matrimonial practices go that are the equivalent to marriage in that time, no such event ever occurred in the Bible. And she told me so, over coffee. Hey, Jackie has a point. The Bible never actually confirms Mary's marital status, and Islamic tradition states Mary was never actually married. Enough, woman! Who even cares if Mary ever married? It's on the Wikipedia. Oh, I love the Wikipedia. Me too, I love reading about baby seals. Ugh. Forget it, you guys take all the fun out of dismemberment. Bubble. The DNA Diagnostic Center. Turns out Professor Lanier isn't my mother after all. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, Luke. I know how much you wanted her to be your mom, but maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, but when is anything ever meant to be? I mean, for me anyways. Well, I'm sure it'll all... Um, you'll be okay, Luke. And you should still keep trying to find your real mom. Hey, maybe I could even write an article about your journey to find her along the way. I mean, that is, if you want my help. Definitely, yeah, I love you. I love your help. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Look, I thought I told you. No, I'm sorry. Turns out you're not my mom after all, so I guess I won't be called Luke Lanier. Luke Lanier. Yeah, sounds pretty rad, right? I was gonna get my name changed legally and everything. Please drop my class. Oh, well, actually starting to like journalism law, so... Drop my class. You see... Please. Yesterday, I would have said yes, but today, I think I'm gonna stick with it. So I'll see you Monday morning. Hey, it's me. Yeah, he got the DNA test done, so he's off my back about it. But he's really serious about this. I know, but it's only a matter of time before your son finds out the truth. It's a big school, but it's not that big. 